One of my next guests is an expert on college football. The other one will be at Caroline's tomorrow. <laughs> And does a Fred Allen impression. I'll let you pick which one. Yeah, exactly. That's the expert right there. <laughs> Brian Jones, one of our uh, favorite guests. Good man, funny in his own right. Were, were, were you guys out here disparaging Dennis Weaver? Are you yeah. saying, you, we're talking about no, McLeod, no, right? No, we're, we're respectful. See, you're, you're McLeod. Old. And uh, during the break, uh, Artie wasn't sure who Dick Gordier was. Yeah, who are you? brought him up. Who he, is he played Jaime the Robot on Get Smart. <laughs> now, who who's the showrunner on that, Gerbil? <laughs> <laughs> was 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 Rex Marshall Gehring the the executive producer of that Jaime the Robot? <laughs> was Jaime was Jaime the Robot was Jaime the Robot kind of pushy for a robot? So how did, did you get Dennis Weaver into this conversation well, about we, the you, whole we're, we're yelling out uh, crazy. No, no, uh, I, I'm pointing out the fact that. Uh, uh, there should be more alarms set about the Holocaust. It wasn't that long ago. Oh. It's astonishing. How does Dennis just, Weaver get involved in that Because he's clearly a Holocaust I think denier. Was... Oh, is he? No. No, he's not. <laughs> is he still alive? Earl the Weaver, man. Earl Weaver, man. I think everyone Hogan's involved buff. in Gunsmoke was Could've a been. Holocaust denier. Could have been. Just kidding. Including Glenn Strange. I think Michael Landon. Now, okay, this is very Bestus? important. Glenn, Glenn Strange. Strange. Actually, was, uh, he'll keep up with you with show business. He was the book. bartender on Gunsmoke, mm -hmm. and he played Frankenstein in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. I mean, that's great. And he was also in House of Frankenstein and House of Dragon. You know how much of a sellout Godfather 3 was for Coppola, and you're a big movie fan. Yes. Oh, that was After Godfather 2. Uh, right after that happened, Coppola was asked by a critic, could you make three? And he said the only thing that would make sense for Godfather 3 was Abbott and Costello meet the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> and then 18 years later, he needed cash. And I'm gonna... God... But Brian knows everything about showbiz. I'll tell you what, for every showbiz reference Brian... <laughs> Brian can name, <laughs> you have to name a defensive back in the SEC. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, start. Uh, okay, uh, that black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but I, I honestly think, I know what the, what the point we we're making is it's like there should be up and people should still be up in arms more. And some of these, like, you know, I don't know, redneck types, some of them go on TV and they say, these people are a little uptight. It was a long time ago. It was not a long time and, ago. And the fact that the, it wasn't a long time ago. The fact that out of the entire world, when they saw Hitler, they didn't go, oh, you know, this guy's a little nutty. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing, to, no, it, it is people. People want to throw it away, but they should. You know, are well, you for? Are you for uh, Hitler? Ke no, yeah. No. Yeah, I've always voted for him. Yes. Uh, well, good. again, Ava Braun was his girlfriend. <laughs> And it, it, oh, it was and, hard and, for you to get a girlfriend, yet Hitler had one. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hitler had a girlfriend, that guy, that that Van Sloot. Yeah. Yeah. Gunder, you were Van Gundersloot. Yeah, was, yeah. He has girls uh, pro propositioning. Well, no, even though some girls know that he's beaten several to death, they still date him. <laughs> Well, OJ got OJ got hot chicks. So, in so, my so, John, hey, how about the Cardinals losing to Utah? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I, I mean, you know, just... I thought they were coming back. No broads for you guys now after that, right? Utah's a tough place to play. <laughs> Any thoughts on Utah? The you ever been to Utah, Gilbert? The Cardinals were very big Hitler supporters. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, well, that's Cardinals, a, the Cardinals. That's a lawsuit way now. The Cardinals Not the Cardinal, often though. said, Not the Cardinal, let's no. win this like the Third Reich, right? <laughs> that was a big thing. Lou Brock used to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Albert Pujols carrying on that tradition. Lou Brock, I played uh, with his son. <laughs> Did you really? Emery Brock, yeah, went to Stanford. Please, you're interfering. <laughs> <laughs> that's not enough. That's not enough to derail Gilbert. <laughs> He's about, on a one track I'm mind. I'm about to go into my Charlie Callis. <laughs> you know Char Charlie Callis. Char Brian, right? You know, yeah. Once, once you do. Once, you would know him from movies. Once I do it. Cannibal Run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once do Charlie Callis. Do it. Do Hi, 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 Frank, Frank, I wanna, <laughs> you wanna get together for, ha, you wanna get together, ha, you wanna get together, ha, lunch, and I, we can meet at, we can meet at, he was the most over the top stutterer <laughs> yes. ever. Uh, except for Stuttering John, our old friend Stuttering oh, yes. John. Stuttering yes. John, uh, I was reminiscing about his stand up earlier tonight. <laughs> Stuttering John's stand up would, uh, was composed of this. Hey guys, you see Gary's teeth? 
Push him around in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> he would do that, then I would have to do an hour, and we'd split the money. Yes, stuttering John. Now he's on the land. Like he's trying to squeeze one out. <laughs> That's what he yes, does. yes. And stuttering John was basically like, what? Remember when they were a billion Howard Stern books out? Sure. And and they would be these books you. You couldn't understand them. <laughs> it was like a psycho writing. Right. And they'd say, oh, there was one time that Gary walked in and Howard said, what are you bothering me for? <laughs> and that would be right, like That was the inside, of, inside yeah. information. Well, that's yeah. what John's act was. He tried yeah. to get by, and he would charge people a lot of money. <laughs> You know, and then I had to go out to an angry mob. Yeah, like whoa, 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 one, one time, uh, Howard got mad at some guest that uh, Gary walked in on. Well, he would uh, sometimes he'd have great show business stuff to share with us. And inside, one time, me, Gilbert, uh, and uh, John went to the Brooklyn Diner to eat, and John <laughs> shared with us uh, some startling show business news that we didn't get. To, thank God, Variety didn't pick up on. Uh, he said, "Guys, I'm in a fight with." Rick yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, he was something. It was like. basically like mentioning a fight between Frank and Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the anti-Semites, Texas won. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, get a rope! You're out, my mom. <laughs> You're out of my You don't see a lot, not a lot of Jews go to Texas. How do you know? No, do, you, do you have any Jewish friends from the University of Texas? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm his sure a, it. his I accountant? <laughs> <laughs> no, he went, oh, he she, went to Brandeis. She, she's actually a Negro. <laughs> yeah. hey, oh, see, that's, yeah. why, that's why you're losing all your money. <laughs> You gotta have a Jew control. Yeah, yeah who's your who's black your, who's guy Texas, controlling your money? Yeah, Texas's That's quarterback is giving an, it away. Texas's quarterback is an Adam Levine. <laughs> That's that's when no when one's quarterback care. is. That's true. That's when yeah. you don't care about your money, go. Oh, I got some collected hand. Leave my money. I don't know. Oh, colored. <laughs> well, uh, forgive Gilbert. He grew up in the forties. A simple time. Yeah. <laughs> a simple time. A simple time where apparently the only uh, big African American guys didn't beat you up for saying that. <laughs> the, the only one might be sitting inches from you. Yeah. <laughs> the only now I'm gonna go down memory lane. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, I think. I think you got a legitimate bitch, too. That wasn't long enough. No, it That's wasn't. That's not long enough. <laughs> the only... You couldn't vote in the surly 60s. That's nothing. That's like... I mean, what? <laughs> like, like, waspy people really did make a lot of bad mistakes in the world. But, uh... As a, as a German uh, Italian myself... Uh, I knew Stymie, so <laughs> I... Yeah, that was how you grew up, though. <laughs> Very oh, wow. offensive, very offensive. Oh, wow. But uh, so so Texas did win. <laughs> yeah, big <laughs> win over Oklahoma. How come college football looks so so much faster than regular, like pro football? You think? Because no. Pro football, <laughs> is it the guys are apprehensive or something? Those guys, they move, man. They, but it's not. The passing is crisp, and it just looks like a better game. No, it doesn't. No, no. Do, do you I like disagree. college football better? No. Some people. Uh, I do. I like you college like game better. better. I think it's there's a purity to college football in in the crowd. You know, the game day experience yeah. is is pure, it, which is great. Right. But I think I think the stripes around the ball make it look nice when it's flying through the air. Mm -hmm. well, Maybe that's, a, that's what you're talking. about. That's a very about. shallow way to look at it. I that. know it's not fast. <laughs> what am I retarded? <laughs> the stripes are pretty. <laughs> How could you say it's fast? I think college football is He's mesmerized by the stripes hey. on the ball. <laughs> Faster. What are talking about? Big. I'm going to leave until we get back to talking about <laughs> Alan and Rossi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alan, Rossi, Asti, Spooman. Can Did we talk see? about the Times Square 2? <laughs> oh, no. <yeah. laughs> the Chicago uh, 8. That's as far as we'll go. The not, Chicago yeah, 8. Yeah, okay. Do you know what the Chicago 8 yeah. was? Either right. Very political. No, I don't know Very the time for it, too. Uh, uh, Brian, as, as, a, as someone who went to the University of Texas, did you ever encounter... Did you ever encounter... Did you? Did <laughs> Jew -y, Jew -y. Okay. Uh, did you ever encounter racism? Oh, there? yeah. Did you, I mean, like, overt... Grown up in love of Texas, yeah. Overt? Oh, yeah. You Very did? overt, What yeah. would they do? What would they do? I'd say use certain names, like colored. 
<laughs> but when <laughs> did you ever stomp somebody out? Oh yeah. Oh. That's me being my yeah. same color. Did he happen to be a Jewish comedian? <laughs> <laughs> No, they're actually on my side. <laughs> they should be. Yeah, no, it happened all the time. We had to confront that. Yeah. yeah. It happened here in New York City about three years ago. It would try, it, honestly, what I, obviously, I, I can't relate to it. I've never been in those shoes. I'm, uh, I'm of, uh, you know, the master race, according to Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at me and Brian, clearly I'm the master race. <laughs> uh, <laughs> clearly it worked out for me. No, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, would, that would make me live it. I would, See, I would have a now hard you time. could have ended the Holocaust right there if Hitler well, it, it would have said... It didn't Hit, end. <laughs> yeah. Hitler, if at the Olympics, yeah. Hitler presented you and said, <laughs> this is the Aryan race. <laughs> and, I, and they roll me out like this, and I have a like cheesesteak on my shirt. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> they roll out me and Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in worse shape than Allen Ginsberg. <laughs> uh, no, uh, honestly, uh, it. Uh, I didn't go to college. Uh, <laughs> surprise. That's, yeah. Gilbert, did you go to college? Uh, no, it, which is amazing because I'm such an intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to explain to you the intricacies of putting out a DVD with a high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with a GD. No. Whatever it takes. Well, you, or you, GED. You got what it. is it? GED. You have a diploma for me. Apparently, I didn't go to school either. Did you? It's a GED, right? Yeah. But you were a football hero. Did you have to go to class? Yeah, man. But there wasn't any of that no, going on. No pass, no play. Really? Well, yes. Yeah, but were they on purpose pass you because you were No. Good? You want no handout? You crazy? Never have. Never uh, no. John, you never, not at Stanford, maybe. Michigan, you never saw no. that? No. Uh, not at Stanford. <laughs> Both, <laughs> deny, so, deny till you die. So you're saying uh, Bo Jackson went to every chemistry class? I have Auburn. no idea what Bo Jackson did at Auburn. Auburn is not the fine Harvard of the South that Texas, Texas is. Texas is a who's great the school. toughest? Who's the toughest guy you ever met on a football field? Another football player? Uh, toughest. Anybody? You, you probably weren't afraid of anybody, but who? Was... No, I mean, but tough were quarterbacks. That was amazing to me. Once I got to the NFL, like right. Jim Kelly, smacked him good one time, didn't even phase him. Right. Brett Favre smacked him good one time, didn't even phase him. Jim Kelly was strong. Oh and yeah. Favre, well, and Favre was real strong. Yeah. Brian, but. That's, they get smacked hard like maybe 10 times a game. Right. You're getting smacked hard every play. I understand that, but, you know, you lay a, a wicked hit on them and it, nothing. In yeah. college Gil or high school, Gilbert, the Gilbert, player's out for a week. Gilbert gets smacked yeah. hard. You see some of the whores on his head? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go home tonight, and before I go to sleep, I'm going to smack it hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. You might actually hire Jim Kelly to help. <laughs> 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 no, but Gilbert, uh, I'm sure yes. Brian's he never... He needs to give Brian's, a pregame speech in the locker room. Brian's right? never hired a prostitute. This is kind of like the Joe Franklin show. No, this is kind of like Sports, he'd have sports a bunch, Center. No, he'd have a bunch of guests <laughs> who had nothing to talk to to each other. And, like, he'd have one guy who was a house painter and another oh, no, the Joe guy... Franklin show. The yeah, Joe Franklin Joe show would Franklin. have Captain Lou Albano yeah. and Bill Cosby. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, uh, so uh, Bill, if, bands, you, uh, if you want into wrestling, uh, oh, would you have manager? Bill Cosby said the funniest thing on the on the Joe Franklin show once. Bill Cosby, you know, after he was a huge superstar, was on the Joe Franklin show, <laughs> <laughs> and he had a book out. And it, Joe Franklin says, "By the way, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming." And Bill Cosby goes, talk about like like insulting him while he's like trying to compliment. He goes, "Yeah, uh, Joe, um, my representation said, what do you want to do for publicity?" And I said, well, I want to do the Joe Franklin show. And Joe Franklin said, well, thank you so much. He goes, no, wait. He goes, and they said, why? <laughs> and I said, because I love Joe Franklin. He's trying to compliment me. And Joe yes. Franklin's trying to veer him off. He goes, well, thank you, thank you. No, you don't understand. They kept saying, but who <laughs> literally, literally, nobody watches Joe Franklin. <laughs> and I said, I watch Joe Franklin. And they said, do you know anyone else? And honestly, I don't. <laughs> and Joe Franklin kept going, well, let's talk about the book. No, I just want to explain to you how everyone on my publicity team, to a, to a, to a man, said, why would you do that? <laughs> it's like yelling it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe Franklin just got redder and redder. See, he was colored. Yeah, he was. 
Ben Franklin was very kind. He was See, colored now, and Jewish. Now, <laughs> he was. Now, now, uh, I I was there for like the Joe Franklin special. Yeah. There was one. He had some like mentally unbalanced guy. Right. Who was working for him? Yeah. It was called his agent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and he would like you know mumble and talk to himself right. and all the, that's hilarious. And and he walks by and he's like oh like uh, with thick glasses and mumbling and blah blah blah. And was and, it Harry Carey? Yeah. <laughs> and Joe Franklin turned to me and goes, ah, there, there, there's a good argument for forced sterilization. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he was very sensitive to it. Yeah, it's probably like his nephew. Probably his nephew. Or something. And he, and you know, he probably wasn't getting paid. Well, uh, of course not. <laughs> or he told him he was getting paid. He paid him. And I would love if Harry Carey was like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Joe, Gilbert Gottfried's here. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I don't trust him around the girls." Uh, well, so now what? What? Everyone's waiting for Alabama, Oregon. That's all they say. I know I am. That's all they say. This, this guy, Colin, <laughs> this guy, Colin, has Colin's football show on ESPN. Uh -huh. I watch that. He does sketches that are very bad. <laughs> they are. Someone's got to tell the guy, my God, I don't know who's writing those sketches. But when he talks, he's interesting because he knows football. He just goes, just give me Alabama, Oregon. Like, he doesn't care about anything else. Are you in that... Uh... Not yet. No. Matter of fact, I, that was one of my upsets last week that didn't come through for me. I had Washington... Upsetting mm -hmm. Oregon, they'd beaten them nine times, now ten times. Uh, so, I, I, you know, Oregon still has to play Stanford. Of course, UCLA goes I to think Stanford, Stanford this weekend. Wins that, and I'm not just being a homer. Uh, I think versus deep... UCLA? No. Oh, Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. they proved last year they could stop that offense. Their defense at Stanford is They're legit. good, but they lost last year to Oregon. No, no, they didn't. No, they oh, beat them. They beat That's Oregon. right, they beat them in Oregon. Oh, Stanford, Eugene, Stanford that's right, it rained. It was like 12 to 10 or something. Yeah, like Stanford, that. I don't know. Right. But didn't Stanford just lose? They lost. Yes, yeah, they, they just lost it to Utah. No, but uh, I, I don't know if everyone is necessarily waiting for Alabama and Oregon. I mean, you got Florida State and Clemson. That's a big one right. this week. Right, number three, We'll find out five. You know, how legitimate uh, Clemson is. Excuse me, uh, Florida State is, because they haven't really had a, exactly. a very uh, how overrated competitive game. Uh, we'll, we'll see. They're a quality football team. I like the young quarterback, Jameis Winston. Maybe in But a this year. is going to be the most hostile territory he has played Gilbert, in. You, you and know. then you got Ohio <laughs> State. They're, they're <laughs> scheduled. They don't play anyone until Michigan, and Michigan just got upset by Penn State. Yeah. Should have lost to Akron. And Gilbert knows this because uh, the Godfrey's as a family would leave <laughs> would leave Brooklyn every fall to take a pilgrimage to Alabama to go to one the, game. This is, you, the Godfrey's would go to Alabama <laughs> when every he, fall. When he was talking about football, it's kind of like when you're switching the channel and you accidentally go to a Japanese station <laughs> and it's like, I don't know what no, the, the hell I they're the, talking about. The Godfrey's about. would always go to the Alabama-Auburn game, right? <laughs> oh, Remember? we lost so much first money. Time you met a no. <laughs> first time you met a clan guy? <laughs> Come here, Gilbert. <laughs> you're hot. <laughs> I can't wait for you to grow up and go to Caroline. <laughs> All right, listen, we, uh, like, uh, much like show business, we have to say goodbye to Gilbert. Uh, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, the executive, the directing fee executives uh, are uh, emailing my agent right now, and uh, there's not many talk shows left for Gilbert to do. Um, but I had a great story about George Zucco. <laughs> Well, you know what? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure Fallon will book you for that. <laughs> Give me my book. Good man. I'm gonna it. sign it. I'm gonna sign it. I thought uh, you signed it. I didn't it. sign it yet. Anyway, uh, tomorrow. Write something good. Tomorrow, Tell good lies. I will. Tomorrow, Caroline's Gilbert Gottfried and. Uh, what time? Uh, yeah. What time is it? Uh, uh, yeah. He's asking you. So, like around, call up, um, oh, you can go to my website, Gilbert <laughs> Gottfried. Dot com, G O T T F R I E D. Oh my God, he knew it. I know how to spell fried. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you I can, got fried down. You can Girl, find Girl. out my whole schedule and my Twitter account. It's 7:30 p.m. tomorrow. Don't be late, okay? <laughs> You're on stage, damn it, and you better be on time. Let's hear about your offensive Asian tweets. Where do we go to see them? <laughs> 
where do, where can we see you offend all Asians? Where do we go for Twitter for that? At Is Mickey... that what got his wings clipped? <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my other channel. Uh, MickeyRooney.com. Uh, uh, Mickey Rooney, Mickey Rooney famous for having sex with 16 Japanese whores at once, right? That's right. No, uh, Gilbert at GilbertGoffrey.com, hashtag offend Asia. Uh, <laughs> and uh, good luck uh, working for the city on some level. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be on, it'll go to the corner of Varric and King if you want to see a great George Zucco impression. Of <laughs> the, Artie, the Artie Lang. Work on a Robin Thicke impression. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.